on a Laurel K. Hamilton book. Uh, it's called Guilty Pleasures. It's an Anita Blake vampire hunter, no vampire hunter novel. It is about a woman named Anita Blake. Ah, oh my God, I was so shocked by her name. <gasps> anyway, so it starts off with a uh, her and a guy named Millie McCoy having a conversation about some uh, interested people he has that would like to hire her for some help. Um, a few things about Anita. She is a vampire executioner through the state of Illinois. Um, and she's also an animator. An animator is somebody who can raise a zombie from the grave. Okay? She works at Animators Inc. Where people can come in and hire her to, you know, raise zombies from the grave to, for like, um, shit. Uh, to like talk to them to, uh, if a will wasn't finished or something. Um, to answer questions about that. Like, if they were murdered, like, who murdered you? Or, well, the, she, I think it states somewhere in this book that you can't raise somebody who was murdered. Um, because they'll go, like, on a rampage or something and kill whoever killed them. So, um, like, oh, what happened? You, you were a witness to this. Did, what did you see? Um, or whatever. Somebody died. Um, and, uh, so, she's, uh, Turns him down, and you find out that she is a um, paranormal expert for the police. She can identify what kind, whether, if somebody was attacked in like the woods, whether it was like a bear or something, or if it was a were animal. And I say were animal because there are, you actually meet were rats and were wolves in this book, and there are in the later books other were animals that you meet. I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm going to do book reviews on all of them. So anyway, so you, she works with the police, the um, the Rip It team, as she refers to it. Uh, they're pretty much a group of investigators who deal with the more weird. Like, if there's like satanic marks on a wall, that's who they would call in to... Uh, investigate the murder so miss anita bleak goes in and you she helps people you meet all your main players you meet anita you meet the whole rip it team and i don't remember all their names because they kind of go in and out of books like the first couple books they're like constantly there but where i'm at in this series i don't think i've actually talked to them for like two books they haven't mentioned it for like two books so um and you meet Jean-Claude, who is a vampire, who is second, I, I, second, I think it's like, excuse me, like second or third in command to the master of the city. And the master of the city is a vampire who is in charge of all of the vampires in this particular area. So, like, he, she is, I, her name is Nicolas. And it's spelled really weird, so that's why I pronounced it kind of funny. Um, her name is Nicholas, and she looked about 10 years old. She looks like a little kid because she's just so petite the way it's described. Um, Nicholas, who's the master of the city. Uh, Jean-Claude, which is one of her vampires. You meet her second name, man, and I can't remember his name because it's like 30 syllables long. And it's like ridiculous. Um, And you meet all the, the main players. And uh, so Anita goes in and she helps out with this issue that they're having and you know by the end of the book you know you got some more details about her her life where she lives what she does and all kinds of fun stuff so yes idea blake vampire hunter guilty pleasures by laura Cote hamilton i really like this book i give it a four and a half out of five only because the language is really strong and um And it's kind of uh, more on the gory side with the details of each murder scene. Because she actually goes to murder scenes and she looks at everything. And she's like, yeah, this is the kind of creature you're looking for. Or this was done by a vampire. So you need to look for a vampire. So she kind of helps point them in the right direction. And they do the other um, work beyond that. So it is kind of gory in places. And when I forgot to mention Ronnie, who is Anita's best friend. Female. Yes, Ronnie. Girl. Anyway. So I give it a four, a four and a half out of five. I really liked it. I would recommend it. Um, 
to anybody who likes that kind of thing. It's a thriller, suspense novel, blood, guts, she shoots people, murders somebody. I, it's, it's a really good book. So, if you like it, like it. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the rest of the Anita Blake series as I continue reading them. And if you have any other books that you want me to read and review, uh, mention them in a comment below. And I'll let you know and post a video. Thanks. Bye.